Hello and welcome back to another Demis Helen tutorial. We are going to take a look at fractals. Now fractals, if you don't already know, are things that are reoccur in nature and when you zoom in on the details of that um, particular item, the same shape reappears every time you zoom in. Um, and it's like a natural recurring thing. So if you haven't seen a video on fractals, um, just search fractals on YouTube. There are plenty of videos to demonstrate it. Um, there are fractals in music, and I'm gonna show you the basic end of the fractals in music. And then if uh, you actually enjoy the video and want to see more of this fractal topic, uh, what we'll do is we'll look at recreating the Adam Neely video uh, where he uses like serious MIDI uh, notation and mathematics to create recreate the melody at a higher pace when there's uh, say like tens of thousands of notes playing at the same time but the, the original notes are the original theme. Uh, it's harder to describe so I'll just head over and see the Adam Neely video. In fact I'll link it down below for you. Um, this is a pattern, MIDI pattern, that I've just put out. So it's just a simple pattern. And just to make things easier, I'm going to have that there. That little bit will help you orientate the melody in your perspective when you see it change around, because there's a lot uh, going to be happening here. Okay, so I'm going to drop it down one here. It's the same melody, I've just copied it down, and I'm going to use the time stretching tool to, to stretch it to double the length. So now instead of having two bars, we've got four bars on this bottom bit. And if we play these together, and we'll drop this one, the original, in fact, the original is here. So we'll drop the next one down one octave. So they are separated. So you can hear, they work together perfectly. And this is the beauty of fractals. If we drop that down one more, which is probably the first I'm gonna go in this tutorial because it just becomes the point where you don't really hear anything musical from it. This becomes your bass line. So it's the same melody, but a lot slower. And then we can go the opposite way. So we can double it by halving the, the actual um, MIDI clip. And we'll copy that across. And because it's on the same octave as the original, we'll just chuck it up one octave so it stands out more. So you can hear that last note that I just added in. Makes it obvious to see that it's reoccurring at that point. Then we can go even crazier. We have to change this to beat, which is already on, so that's good. And half it again. We'll copy that all the way across. We'll jump in. Chuck it up one more octave so it's obvious. In fact, we've just done that wrong. Uh, we were on standard sizing there. We need to apply time stretching sizing. Okay, so there we are. Let's go across again. So you start getting this really weird effect. But yeah, it all still fits, and that is the beauty of fractals. So again, Keep it on the time stretch. So we've halved it again. Copy them across. And we'll throw them up one more octave. And this one is gonna be a bit quieter on the mixer because it's just a little bit crazy. See, now you've got this magical feel. and they're all just half in speed from that very top one. So, as you can see, everything works nicely, and that's not where Fractals ends. Uh, you've got a few more options up the sleeve. So if we were to copy the original over, and we'll uh, keep this one isolated, 
and we'll make two sections. Now let's copy the same section above but we're going to start it one bar in. And we're going to put that up one octave as well. So you can hear that it still is working even though we've just offset it. And again, that is the beauty of fractals. So we're going to copy that over to there. So the bit that got lost in translation, as you can see, what I've done is just use the snip tool and scissored it and dragged it over and put it at the beginning because that's where it's going to be when it starts again over here but just to keep continuity going and it works so well and now what we can do is we can take one that is slightly faster so it's not doubled but it's doubled again and we could start it here so halfway through the bar which is not what we would do because this is half a bar long. So to use a better demonstration, we'll delete that one and we'll use the one that's double the speed of this one and we'll start it one beat in and we'll copy that there. And we'll obviously throw that up. So we've got a little bit on the end, so let's snip that off. And we've still got this lovely sounding piece of music. It's Can we apply it to trance? Yeah, sure we can, uh, but we'd need to simplify everything uh, to get it going nicely and a little bit of work. But we could pick the same notes. So I've taken a screenshot before, so here is the screenshot. This is the melody pattern we have. So if I use the bass notes here, we'll start on E, D, and then we'll go to A, So we'll copy that over, so it's playing over so many bars, so we can do a bass line pattern. Alright, so we now have a bass line pattern. Uh, let's just put them all on the beats. And what works better with pluck stars than anything uh, is to put a rolling bass on the lower notes. So yes is the answer. We could create something quite interesting, something trance-like. I think that needs to start on an E, an F, sorry. That sounds better. Let's just let it loop round to make sure it sounds right. Okay, so if we turn up the bass a little bit. Okay, so we've got that there. And if we go back to our, I've lost the original file so let's get this up here let's use these notes here so we'll start on E so 
So we can create anything just using those few melodies. But the point is, that's diverting from the fractals um, idea. But it's just to show you that you can start creating music around it. So to move on to the final part of the fractals. Now Cubase doesn't have the ability to flip horizontally. If it does, let me know. I can't find it anywhere. I can see the flip vertically, which is the mirror image thing, um, but it will not do it uh, any other way for me. So if you do know, uh, that would be absolute super handy to know. So in this one, this is the original, and I'm going to copy the original down. So both are identical. And let's put one an octave above. So this lower gray one is an octave above, as you can see here. So they're exactly identical, no difference at all. Now, this piece of MIDI uh, we can flip. So if we go to functions and oh, functions and mirror, what that's done is flipped the MIDI date around. So it's now starting with the two notes that were at the end. So if we view them side by side, they're, they're looking identical, but they're not. Uh, as you can see here, these are now offbeat because these two notes have determined the start point here. So let's have a listen. Okay, and what that's done is started with F instead of the E. So it's taken the F and the D, F and the D, and it's just literally played that notation backwards. Now you can flip it on the horizontal axis. So then this F would be um, the central point. So, well, in fact, the E, let's just get that rid of that F for a second. The E would be the central point and it would flip the opposite way. So the D would become a G. But the point is uh, we've got one tone difference here between the E and the D. But a one tone difference between the E and the F, uh, unfortunately, is not part of the scale. So I'm in my head I can't actually flip it without uh, doing some experimentation. But you can picture what I mean that this would just be flipped on the other way. So instead of this way around, it would be this way around. And again, that would work uh, quite easily. So fractals are very interesting. Uh, and you, you can create, you could probably create your arpeggios by doing that just by simply having this one and then having another one, which is just doubled. And then you could look at both of them like that and you could start mixing them up. So you could get rid of that note there. And you could get rid of that note there. Put them up into the equation. Probably get rid of the, the A there. Get rid of the F. And then probably put the A at the end. So you can build an arpeggiated sequence. And that's playing both together and it's crashed. So that is going to be the end of the video. I have shown you everything that uh, I wanted to show you apart from the horizontal flipping. If you do know about that, let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see further videos on fractals and maybe even try and build a melodic sequence out of fractals for trance, let me know in the comments and Whilst you're doing that, hit the like button because it does help share it out to other people. Let's get more people in the Dem Demis Helen community because uh, we can do more things. And finally, hit subscribe and the bell icon and hit all so you see all of the uploads that are coming. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.